Hi, I'm Alan. This is Alan's Firearms and Guns Plus More. And today we're going to go jump back into little itty bitty guns again. But this is an old one. CZ, Czechoslovakian Firearms. It is a Model Z. Little 25 semi-autos that was a well-made firearm. Browning made one. This is, for the most part, a copy of the Browning 25. There's some slight differences in it. Really, it's the, the the way the safety works. But for the most part, it comes apart just like a Browning 25. You clean it the same way. But we're going to do that. There is not a lot on this gun to talk about. It's simple. It is, let's make sure it is empty. It is. The slide does not lock back on the last round. But there's a safety on here that you can use it just to lock it back a little bit. And I'll show you why on the workbench. So... Without any further ado, let's get to the workbench so you can take a closer look at it. I'll go over some of the finer points of the firearm. We'll field strip it, clean it, lube it, and put it back together again. So here is the CZ Model Z. It is very much like the Browning, except for where the safety is. The safety is back here. On the Browning, the safety went underneath started here, but it went underneath the grip and ended up being a, a long switch that was here. And it's got a solid trigger. It's a 25 automatic. It holds six rounds. There's the magazine. Take that out. Let's make sure it's empty. Look down the chamber, magazine well. It's safe. The sight, pic the sight picture isn't really much. It's just cut down the center of the top of the gun as you See, this is pretty cool. You can see this little nub sticking out on the safety. That nub catches that slot in the slide. So if I go like this and I move the slide back, it'll lock into that. That holds it for what you would call the service position of the slide, which allows you to take it apart. So to take it apart, we can do that. And then these little serrations in the barrel helps you get a grip on it. You turn it. And you can see in the ejection port, you'll see there's some, the locking cam will appear. Now you can remove, you can put your fingers over the back of the firearm when you slide your slide forward because there's this long spring. Now this is another thing that's not like the Browning 25. The Browning 25 had a little hole built, drilled back there with a little cap that went into that hole and over the spring. So it gave you um, a solid area until the spring was released. This one doesn't have that. Okay, so here's the gun totally disassembled. And we're gonna clean this now. This is gonna be a fast cleaning because there's not much gun here. Now, you know I use Strike Hold. If you wanna know more about Strike Hold, look at my one or two videos I have online about it. And it'll tell you um, all about Strike Hold. It's a CLP. It's a cleaner, lubricant, and protectant. So if I use Strike Hold to clean the gun, I then do not have to uh, lubricate it. So I cleaned off this um, recoil spring rod, the, the spring. You saw me do that. I'm going to clean off this little spring back here. This, this spring looks like it's been kinked a couple of times, or at least once, or stretched because the person had trouble getting it in or out of there. With the, with, with the barrel in the take-apart position to get the barrel out, I put it in the lock position, and then I can remove the barrel from the bottom of the slide. Clean this. This is my firing pin. And then I clean the inside of the firearm. I'm going to spray this inside. That'll get it nice and clean. Take this. Get all the little slots that I can't reach with my fingers. I'm going to slide this down there. Get this clean. What I did was I got a little piece that fabric down in there using this. There we go. 
and then I can just pull it out. So there we go. I'll clean this. Get inside the firearm. Now what I like to do, which is important, is you want to make sure you get the slots on the slide nice and clean because that's where you get metal to metal contact. So I'm going to get that. I'm going to do that on the same thing on the frame. I'm going to get everything on the frame clean. Do not take apart these guns, by the way. If you take this screw out and you start taking apart this gun, what's going to happen is about 30 pieces are going to fall out of this handgun and you're going to have no clue how to get it back together again. Take my word for it. Unless you already know how to do it, do not take it apart. Take it from experience. My first pistol I ever had was a, it was in college and it was a Browning 25 and yeah, I took it apart like that and it took me close to a month to figure out how to get it back together again. And I figured it out in a dream. I woke up in the middle of the night. It was like I was, I was so PO'd at myself and I was dreaming about the parts and they were swirling around it and I put it together in my sleep and I woke up and I grabbed the gun and I did it and went together and believe me, I have no clue how to, I went back to sleep. I don't remember how to do it. So just don't do it. Okay, so now that we got this, the, the frame clean, this clean, the uh, slide clean, let's do the barrel. I don't have any, I don't have a pad small enough to go through this, but what you would do is you put a pad on here, you go through the barrel all the way through a few times. I'll get, I'll get the barrel back in the shop. Okay, so now, we can put this puppy back together again. Oh, we got to oil it. So to oil it, basically I'm going to take a cloth. I'm going to put three drops of oil on it. One, two, three. And I'm going to just wipe down the gun everywhere I touched it with cleaner. I'm going to hit it with oil. So I'm going to get down into where I had this spring. Because back down in there, you've got to get all that cleaner turned off. Oil turns the cleaner off. You can wipe uh, cleaner off your gun with a rag, but it's still it's still breaking down material. And that's why some people wonder, hey, I took such good care of my firearm. Why is it um, bluing uh, fading? It's because they left gun cleaner. They didn't turn off the gun cleaner. So every place I touch this with gun cleaner, I'm going to hit it with oil. Get my slots on the slide and on the frame. Okay. And the barrel. Make sure I get the chamber and everything. I mean, if you, if you put cleaner down the, your barrel, of course, you're going to want to do that. The pin. The spring. The recoil spring. That's the, that's the firing pin spring, the recoil spring. And the magazine. Now, how do we put this thing back together again? Same way we took it apart. First, the barrel goes, <laughs> we want to get the barrel in here. So you drop the barrel in. It takes a little finessing it in. Find the right the slot, turn it. Now we're going to take the firing pin and we put it in with, there's a little notch, on, nub on one side. That nub, of course, goes up so it slides into, that's, slot right here. Now we take a firing pin spring and we put that in. We're going to take our spring with the spring rod that goes in the bottom of the gun just like that. Now 
we match up that spring in there. First we have to put it on the slide with the uh, slide to the rails, pull it back, matching our spring up, move it back, get this spring matched up, bring it on back, put your safety in the right position, push the safety up if it doesn't go in by itself, and it might not, turn the barrel lugs down into, and you may have to wiggle this a little bit just to line them up, down into the firearm. And there you go. And it functions. Okay, so there we go with the CZ Model Z. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe. And until next time. Thanks for joining me for the CZ Model Z. Please like and subscribe. And until next time.